Hey everybody, it's Flame Brenton here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on uh, how to build kind of a Roman structure, a little well in the middle kind of thing, just big pillars and a little bit of accent around it, so it looks nice. It's just a small one. Let's uh, get underway here. All you got to do is find a nice little flat area, and uh, I've I've started with a little 30 by 30 square. And I'm going to have uh, stone slabs around the edge so that you can easily walk up it. So you just go all the way around the outer rim with these stone or sandstone slabs. Your choice, really. I'm going to sandstone because I'm doing this one on the beach. So you fill this all out, make it uh, a nice little area. You do this for this bottom row as well as the next row up. You want to make sure that it's all evened out and kind of doesn't look like it's out of place, right? So you do a couple here and all the way around. So yeah, I've got uh, got this on fast forward right now. I, I've pre-recorded it and I'm adding voice in after. Just any of you are a little confused. It takes quite a while to build this, so. And just one more on the inside here. I'm gonna have it so there's a little bit of an elevation going into the structure and uh, you guys can make your stairs as wide out as you want you can have six stairs, it doesn't really matter but uh, anyway this is the way that I chose to do it and now for the pillars you're gonna start a base I'm gonna do a uh, base with two outside with four in the middle just like that there you got your two on every side and uh, I want mine to be a little low down, kind of flush. I'm going to change this later on in the video and you'll see why, uh, just to give it a little bit more detail. So this is uh, this is just where I did the floors and uh, the base for each of the pillars. So you go around to all four corners, fill them in. And uh, you guys can make it a little bit bigger. Try to stick with the same kind of design here to, to make it kind of circular. But uh, this is just a small one on the edge of, edge of one of my maps that I've created. So once you've got all four of your bases, then you're going to want to start building your pillars. And it doesn't really matter how high you build your pillars. It's just that's going to be where the base of your roof is wherever you stop. So I'll fill this all in. And uh, don't fill all the way, just fill it so it's kind of symmetrical all the way around. And uh, later on in the video, I'll be showing you what I did in the center. Uh, you don't want to put stone slabs all the way through, though, because that way, when you do come to filling in the middle, you'll have uh, some area. Like, if you want to place something, you won't be able to place it flush. So. So now on into the uh, middle portion of it, you, you got the uh, center area. I'm gonna make it make it so it's elevated a little bit rather than sinking in. Uh, doesn't really matter. You can do it so that the the layer below is sinking in and have a little water effect or whatever you want to do. So I'm raising. Fill in all this area here, and I've got this so that it's an even square. Um, I just skipped through filling in all the outside. It's quite time consuming. And then onto the pillars, you want to uh, start the pillars, go up as high as you'd like uh, for your building to be. Um, doesn't really matter and uh, the taller it is though, the wider you're probably going to have to make it, otherwise it's going to look like you've got these giant pillars and they're uh, kind of close together or something like that. And I, I like to do it so that the outside ring is all done first. So I'll build up this pillar, go over the next one, build up that pillar. And uh, I'm just doing this because this will be the essentially the roof line of the building. So all four pillars need to be raised up. Like this here. And once you've got uh, all your pillars built, then you'll work on uh, your outer ring. 
depending on how wide you make it, depends on how far apart your pillars are going to have to be. We'll also change how many pillars you'll want to put in. And just like in the bottom, a few little accents on the uh, tops of the pillars so that it looks kind of like the Roman design. I'm not really, not really too fond of how it looks right now with just the two, so I'm going to be changing it, and uh, it'll give it a little more, a little bit more depth and a little bit more structured design. So let's see what it looks like now. We go around the outer rim. And this is gonna kind of be part of your overhang. You want to bring it out one farther than the edge of your pillar. So go all the way around and just fill this in. And around again, bring it out that one extra. And this kind of gives some some design and overhang to the Roman structure. And then you want to go up, and this is kind of one of one of the few details that I'll be adding, and it's it's kind of uh, kind of gives to the design and makes it look a little more interesting than you know your basic. So this one, because it's an even number, I'm not going to be able to place these each out like this. So I'll need to go in and remove part of it. So yeah, once you've got uh, your front part done there, I'm building up uh, a little bit here to give kind of slope to the building. This is going to be seen more in the roof once you uh, get to that part. And you know how you got steep roofs and stuff like that. This will kind of give a little bit to the design. And uh, I'll show you how right here with some uh, red wool. I'm going to go with red on this one. So you bring it out and just have it kind of like steps all the way up and then you're going to want to go around your edge here and kind of step it up right there go all the way around. go all the way around and you know I'll show you a little bit here this is just for demonstration but I'll show you in each side what you want to do I've chosen the other side as being my front to the building I guess and so it's a little bit bigger than the next one so you, you see you pull it out like this and this is how you create the steep look so you can have it so that it kind of goes up like a pyramid but also has a roofing effect to it so all the way around and you know you don't have to take your roof to a peak in fact I think it kind of looks silly having a peaked roof on every building you have so like this is going to have a bit of a flat roof but I'll uh, I'll get back to the roof later. That's just to, to show you. So the second set of pillars, I'm going to do them with uh, a spacing of two apart in the front. So there's two blocks between the base of each pillar. And uh, this is only on the front. On the sides, I, I make the spacing a little bit bigger. And uh, on the front, you're going to want to have like a big wide opening to walk through. So that's why they're two apart here. And that'll give you a nice big opening in the front come over to here, measure it out too, and cut out your design right there, put in the full blocks, full blocks on top, and bring them all the way up. Um, this gives you a nice big opening in the front, as I said. And so this is about when I decided that I was going to change the uh, the look of my pillars, the bases, and the tops of them. So have a look from out here, starting to take shape. Finish off your roof. And uh, go around the rest of the outside. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit talking here for a little bit and just show you some of the stuff I did and see if you like it.
So right about here, I uh, I start doing the above part. This is kind of your top ring of the sandstone part of your structure. So it kind of gives uh, gives the effect that the other sandstone below it is um, is kind of designed in there and it's hanging down. And so you bring it out and make it make this top row flush with the one block so the single blocks you added on the other part and uh, it'll it'll make a nice little effect there As you saw with the other sides there, there's a couple of spots uh, right in the middle where I raised them up a little bit like this here. Just one one little block at a time. And that, uh, that'll help distinguish the front for you so that, you know, somebody runs up to the side, they'll kind of, they'll see more of the peak on the front part. So this is what it's going to look like when uh, when you finish the roof. As I said, I've, I've flattened the top here and I've finished filling in the roof. I haven't filled in the bottom part yet, but I'll skip through that as well. So I want to I want to add the rest of my pillars in here. So three apart in the base for this one, and then for the next ones over, uh, I'm going to make it a space of I believe four, and then three again between the next corner pillar. So I had a little bit of difficulties getting these to fill in properly there. I had to try again a couple times. So yeah, you go three over. And yeah, right right in the middle there you can see it's four blocks apart. So it's uh, a little bit narrower than the other one. So this is when I started to change the design of the pillar and uh, give it a little bit more depth to make it so that it's kind of wider at the top. And I did it at the bottom as well, so I just filled in the corners and then added two above where there were the, the parts before. And it gives it a little more detail, so it, it looks a little better, a little bit uh, time consuming when you're building one thing and then changing it all the time. but. You know, that's what, it, that's what it takes. So now I've got the center built in here and I've built kind of archways, kind of like you'd see in an aqueduct. And so I've taken the corners and I go three in the middle, maybe four in the middle there, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going four in the middle there and then three between the edge corner ones. So you build it up too high and then kind of build an arch in the middle. I'm going to go all the way around the top and give it a little bit more detail. This part was probably the most annoying part because you've got these bricks that you're placing that aren't actually touching any other bricks. So it's, uh, it's a little bit of a pain, but I chose to go that route. And so 
this is uh, this is going to be my little center area. I'm going to put kind of a fountain thing. This this is just you know what you put in the middle is all up to you. It could be a throne. It could be a fountain. It could be uh, an entrance to a crypt or something like that. Maybe maybe you've got something built underneath this and you want to have a nice little entrance to it. Uh, maybe a maze or something like that. So you got one for the overhang, one in the middle. As I said, it's a pain in the butt to do it this way, but... So this is going to be my little center area. I'm going to put some water in here, and uh, I'm going to make it a nice even square. And I'll build up on the edges of this to kind of put the same arches in there. Make it so it fits in with the rest of the structure. And uh, you're, you're going to want to put some lighting in here, just so you can see around and stuff. A little bit of lag there my capture card. So yeah, I've got uh, not uh, not quite the same kind of arch, but cut out the corners there. And uh, I'm going to put some glowstone in here so that people people can see what they're doing when they're taking a bath. Put the glowstone in there. Put some slabs on top just for design. Why not? And uh, maybe for a little bit more design, I'll, I'll throw some on top here too. Be useful. Full bricks for that, but oh well. Helps with the lighting, right? So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna make a little bit of a little holder for the lights. And yeah, I'll put these in here too. Kind of goes with the outside. And make sure you got a little stepway up here. I'm gonna put some more slabs in there. But I'll, I'll put some more slabs around this, and you know just. Little things, right? Little details add to uh, add to the look of your buildings. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna add some fence posts. Take out the blue wool up top there, and kind of stands out like a sore thumb. Alright, so uh, there you have it. That's my Roman structure. I think it looks pretty nice. Got your pillars, you got a little bit of overhang, a little bit of detail. And, uh, you know, people are going to see this from across the map. They're going to be walking towards it, and then, boom, all of a sudden there's this, this big structure, tall structure with some big, uh, big pillars in it, and a little bit of water in the middle. So, enjoy.